Today is a wonderful day because we are finally getting a bell for the Old South Meeting House again. And what's really exciting is this is an American-made bell. This is not just any old bell that is being installed in the clock and in this glorious tower of the Old South Meeting House. It's a Paul Revere bell forged and cast at the Paul Revere foundry in 1801. The clock is, is dated 1766. It is still hand wound, uh, runs a week on a winding, but it has lost its voice. Today we're going to have the rising of the bell to the tower and 276,000 people a daily will hear that bell go off. That's very special. That's what Boston is. Boston's historic city and I think it's so important because we're the most historic city in the country. The bells and the clocks at Old South Meeting House have had a community role from the very beginning. When the Old South Meeting House was built in 1729, they wanted to make sure there was a bell there. Bells were very important. They helped people tell time. They gathered people for meetings like the meeting that led to the Boston Tea Party. This bell up in this tower was used by this congregation for a long time. It was rung to ward off evil spirits back in the colonial times when they thought that things, fires, thunderstorms, and other things were things that required the public to know about. Bringing a Paul Revere bell, which is part of a two centuries ago, to a building which is part of Massachusetts as much as Boston uh, is just a resounding success um, for the future. To join Paul Revere and the Old South Meeting House and the great democratic traditions that they finally represent is a very significant moment in the life of the city and actually of the country.